Hey guys, welcome back to Tech Club by Chetan Snowy and today we're gonna review the Resurrection Remake ROM for the Galaxy S6H, the version 5.8.5. So this ROM has been improved a lot. So the ROM's UI looks boring and a little outdated now. The once clean, minimalistic and the simple UI has seen better days and it is not that exciting anymore to see that. It is not that elegant I would say that it used to be. Now the new Pixel 2's UI and even the Pixel's UI is just so elegant with compared to this. But due to the lightness of this UI, the phone feels really fast, the ROM feels really really fast. And that is the thing about the stock Android based ROM. They feel really fast and there are not much delays anyway. So when it comes to performance, the ROM feels really fast and smooth with encountering no delays anyway. So as you can see, it just opens the application really fast. There are not much delay anyway. And the calling feature is just working fine now but i cannot confirm for the geo volte e because i flashed the volte e fix but the volte e logo did not show up so it might not have worked but i really can check that because my geo sim does not have any balance in it so the rom has all stock android based applications over here the contacts application the phone application all our stock android based apps over here the inbuilt browser feels a little like the google chrome now i think and all the features seems very similar to google chrome now and the inbuilt camera has a really fast focusing over here so you just click over here and it focus just click focus click focus and you have a lot of features in this camera application your filters over here which are not really great you have the selfie camera you have the settings over here so you do have settings as compared to the stock android based cameras you do have more settings so you can select these over here the exposure you can do that the white balance the touch focus duration and all so you have many settings so let's go out of it so the rom does not come with the google applications and you do need to install them separately and i've already made a video about it link to the video will be right over here just go ahead and follow the video and you will get the google applications the play store and all and you also have this audio effects application which has very simple usage you do not have much of uh, the settings over here so you can change your preferred settings over here rock pop and all and if you go into custom you, you can increase or decrease uh, like this just holding down and doing this and you have the base option over here the virtualizer the reverb so you do have these but it is not as compared to the wiper for android so the wiper for android is a great application for the audio modulation it gives you uh, you know a high level of virtualization or you can say the equalization of that so i love the wiper for android because it just gives you so much options and the audio feels so much better so if you want to install the Viper for Android link to the video will be right over here. Please do check it out and you will get the Viper for Android on your Galaxy S6 Edge. And it works on all of the ROMs. So don't worry about it. And if you want a crazy great setting for the Viper for Android link to the video will be once again right over here. Just follow the video and you will get an amazing settings for the Viper for Android. And you will get great sound out of your headphones with those settings. Just go ahead and see those videos. So let's go into the settings and in the settings you have stock Android settings with configurations. It is for customizations that you can do in your ROM. So you have a lot of them. You have clock customization, you have the brand logo customization and the custom logos if you want the battery the system icons the notification ticker weather temperature and network traffic if you want to enable hide errors if you want to uh, so if you do this you get the information of your network traffic and you have the status bar gestures and I have enabled double tap to sleep so it does this and you also have the system tuner these are all the status bar configurations that you can do then you have the panel recent the quick settings lock screen gestures buttons animations interface miscellaneous so you have a lot of customization here and you can really make this rom your own so that is really great you can customize this rom a lot and to my surprise the rom comes with the google startup animation and that looks really really cool and i really love that because it is really fun to look at and it is really elegant to see 
So the ROM comes with the Android version 7.1.2 which is the latest version of the Nougat and you have this RR OS version over here and the greatest thing is you have the latest security patch out right now so that is really really great because security patches are really important to have having said that the ROM is amazing and fast and you can always use a launcher if you don't like this UI so that is really great the rom is really really fast i would like to emphasize on that the rom is really fast about the battery life in my period of using it i noticed that the battery life is great i haven't used this rom a lot but in the period that i've used it it feels great you can get whole day of battery life with this rom so all in all the rom is really great you have a, a great performance if you like this kind of ui the ui is over here you have the minimalistic design you have fully deep loaded rom you can install whatever you want in this rom so i would highly recommend you try this rom and you might like it so i think that's it if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you're new here please subscribe to this channel and don't forget to share the video and thanks for watching guys